All right. So what's going on here? Yeah, mm -hmm. um, um, Professor Charles Spence, who's uh, who's a cognitive cognitive scientist at the University of Oxford. He did a lot of research and experiments in the areas of food and product sound branding, and he did a really really interesting experiment with uh, for Pringles, funded by Unilever. Mm. And basically, what he did. The participants within this experiment, they had to eat Pringles crisp. I think 180 yeah. different yeah. Uh, Pringles crisp <laughs> with a very varying uh, freshness. Yeah, exactly. And so instead of listening to the actual sound of them eating them, they had to wear a headphone yeah. and Charles Spence played them recorded sounds. Yeah. And the idea is that what they were trying to find out is there's a balance between the optimum volume of you eating the crisp and the optimum frequency, and that replicates freshness. And these other brands have paid a lot of money in researching the sound of the crisps rattle, rustling in the packet or popping open or opening a Coke can, for example. Rice Krispies, when you pour uh, milk on Rice Krispies, yeah. sound exactly. branding. So it's actually sound branding of the product. And we're just going to do an experiment now. I don't know if you've got the chocolate. You guys got the chocolate there? Yeah, cool. You're allowed to eat it now. <laughs> okay, so. I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but we're going to play you two very different sounds. And we want you to taste the chocolate and think about how the sounds potentially influence you tasting the chocolate. And have a think. Does one bring out more of a sweetness? Or does one bring out more of a, a bitterness? <laughs> Guys ready? Can we have a, just a raise of hands? Okay, so sound number two, the more high-pitched sound that you just heard, who thought that one made it taste more sweet? Wait. That's the answer we yeah. wanted. <laughs> yeah, so just finally, we'd just like to just maybe kind of, I don't know, make up some, some rubbish about potentially in the future where, where this could all be going. And uh, I think the multi-sensory branding is, is really interesting. And the hotel chains are actually starting to adopt on it already with sort of <laughs> many airlines yeah, already brand. use it yeah exactly many 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 airlines use a, a combo with sonic branding and scent branding so they've got their own scent they've got a design scent and they they have their own sign soundscapes and they combine these two things so it's about yeah. having a, a branded environment and the generative actual generative soundscapes which is not they're not necess it's not necessarily music but it's more um, <coughs> it's more certain frequencies and certain tones that evolve and these can be more finely tuned, actually, in terms of eliciting certain emotions. And I think the combination of a sort of audio tint in an environment with maybe a, a scent tint, and obviously the visual, uh, is really strong. It's really interesting for, for, for brands.